Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Everybody has got uh, probably a dozen or so peripherals attached to their computer, and the one peripheral I can pretty much guarantee that everybody has is a printer. And uh, the question I have for you is, what printer do you have? Now, while you're entering your comment right now, wherever it happens to be, I'm going to go in and explain to you why I'm asking you about this. Zedlos in the chat room asked a very general question, a versus question, which I always like those versus uh, situations. Uh, inkjet versus laser. And he's, of course, talking about the different types of printers. Inkjets use ink and propel the ink onto the paper, whereas laser uses toner. Uh, and the benefits and, uh, I guess, drawbacks for each one, it, well, it just kind of depends. I, the last time I purchased and used an inkjet printer was close to about seven years ago. <laughs> I went laser and I haven't looked back. Uh, inkjets are nice, uh, you know, if you don't do a lot of printing or if you want to do even color printing, um, they're certainly cheaper than laser jets, at least at the onset, they're cheaper. But ink, depending on how often you print, can start to run up in price. I just heard about a, a recent Consumer Reports, uh, uh, I guess, review on inkjet replacement cartridges and they described the whole uh, landscape of inkjet availability. Most people will buy refurbished cartridges or off-brand cartridges to save money, but Consumer Reports discovered that sometimes doing that would, number one, void the manufacturer's warranty for your printer, uh, but number two, the quality wasn't as good as the ink that the manufacturer was offering. Uh, and you say, well, why does it matter? It's cheaper. Well, if your photos that you're printing or your, the text that you're printing, if you want to stay around for a lot longer, um, the cheaper inks have uh, 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 they'll fade quicker than the more expensive inks. That's something to consider, especially if you're someone who's been printing off the photos thinking that they're going to be around forever. Uh, they're not. Uh, I hate to tell you, no matter what you do, really, they won't be around forever. So the advantages of inkjets, the hardware is typically cheap. The ink is where you're going to spend most of your money, and when you try to take shortcuts, you're just probably not going to be very happy with the results uh, in the long run. The last time I dealt with inkjets, they certainly weren't as sophisticated as they are today, and I wound up with so many problems. I mean, literally, I mean, I would print something out, and, you know, there was a registration issue, so, like, there was weird lines across the page, and the ink smudged. It was just... It was, and it was a Canon printer, it wasn't an off-brand, but I've seen, you know, good inkjet printers, and those are more expensive, and some mediocre ones, which are good enough for one-off jobbies, and certainly draft jobs, but I went to the LaserJets, uh, specifically in HP's line, and I've been really happy with the quality. Software, eh, 50-50, uh, but in terms of the hardware, I, I, I have not had an issue with any printout ever from any of my HP laser jets. Uh, in fact, Ponzi's been uh, kind of disappointed. I had originally, uh, the first laser jet that I purchased was a 6L, and now I, I upgraded from that uh, from that particular unit to a HP LaserJet 1220, which is a scanner and printer laser. Uh, and then, of course, you all know about my 3052, which is uh, an all-in-one device as well and is having hellish times inside of Windows Vista, at least with my particular machine in Windows Vista. The driver support just isn't there yet, uh, which is kind of sad and disappointing. Uh, I can't scan from Windows Vista without using uh, VMware to connect the USB device. It's just, it's a complicated mess that I've gone into before. So the advantage of lasers, you get, it's typically faster, higher quality output. Um, it may be a more expensive unit in the beginning, uh, but, uh, you know, in toner, the cartridges the, the, the are a little more expensive, but they also have a longer run, so you're able to get more pages out of a, a toner. And again, you don't have to worry about having to print something over and over and over again just to get the perfect copy. It's perfect every time. The laser jets, I, I'm, in my opinion, impeccable in terms of quality. And now they have color laser jets, or co when I say laser jet, I guess that's a brand, laser printers. Um, there are color ones available that are about the same price, roughly, as the, uh, the black toner laser printers. Uh, so if y y the idea of, of using a, a color printer before they had laser color printers in the price range in the same, uh, you know, few hundred dollars, um, you know, it wasn't access as, as easy for the average person to do compared to the inkjet. Well, now the price, if it's less of an uh, object for you, or if you want to spend uh, money, if you've got $100, well, you're pretty much stuck with inkjets, which are fine. 
Uh, but remember, you're going to run up more money on the ink than you are on the actual hardware itself. And that's why I've always gone with a laser printer. I mean, sometimes I'll, I'll go through a toner a year and not have to worry about it. Just It just works. And they're getting more and more efficient all the time. One thing you might consider doing with the software side of things, instead of printing th uh, everything in a high quality 600 DPI, you know, bump it down a bit and uh, HP at least has something called Econo Mode. I imagine Epson and, and Brother and all the other manufacturers have something similar where you print, you know, just regular runoff. It's not, doesn't take as much toner, at least with laser and inkjets most likely have the same type of scenario. That's something you might consider to um, give a little more longevity to the ink or toner that you happen to use. My personal preference, uh, laser, whether it's color or black toner, I'm laser guy all the way. I, 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 I the only reason I might that recommend an inkjet is specifically for photo printing and even then I would recommend spending the money on a die sub uh, photo printer just because of the quality and the longevity of those prints that you're actually making these are things you have to consider I mean what must what might be cheap up front is going to to likely cost you in the long run. That's what you have to remember about cheap hardware, is how cheap is it, really? I mean, in many cases with hardware, cheap, you kind of get what you pay for. I kind of hate to say it. So anyway, uh, as I said in the beginning, what printer are you using? What do you recommend, inkjet or laser, and in which particular conditions? Uh, you know, what have been your experiences with printers? Everybody's got a different background, different opinions, but you know, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't think that lasers were that good of an option uh, because of price, I'd encourage you to think again. It's uh, it's laser has always for me been worth the money, at least for the consumer line of laser jet printers. And now I think or laser printers, I think you can even get a laser at two hundred dollars these days. They're real cheap in terms of printers, because believe you me, you can spend a lot of money on these things. But it's not always worth it to spend a lot of money. Depends on how often you uh, print. Anyway. Uh, if you do a lot of tech, oh by the way, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep thinking of printer tips. If you do a lot of text printing, you probably just you'll be fine with a laser, and then you won't have to worry about spending money on uh, a, a, an inkjet printer. And by the way, if you buy an inkjet printer, make sure it has a black ink cartridge as well as the color cartridge, because if not, then it's got to combine the colors together to produce something similar to black, and you end up uh, wasting more ink than you would have if you bought a printer that had a separate black cartridge and a separate color cartridge because then uh, you wouldn't be uh, wasting as much on just regular old black printing which is likely what you're doing if you're printing off web pages or emails or things that are just largely text. Uh, I keep cramming in tips. I can't stop myself. I just, I just I have to help people. I'm sorry. I'll stop now. I'll stop. More tips later. I promise. I promise. I promise. If you have a question for me, by all means, send me an email, chris at perillo.com, or send a message to my YouTube account, or of course, swing by the chat room. We're there 24 hours a day, and if I'm not there to answer your question, other people are. And if we miss your question, hopefully someone else will catch it and ask it later so that we can answer your question at some point. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they keep saying, yes, that's where you can find us, live.perillo.com.